Today I've got a quick tip of a tool that you have probably seen millions of times in Final Cut Pro, but you've never bothered to use it. And I'm gonna show you why you absolutely need to use this tool. So something I do really commonly is add in jump cuts to my video. And I do this more so to add energy to my edits, but it can also be used to cover up slight mistakes. But who are we kidding? Really, it's just making the mistakes more apparent because we're drawing attention to the edit. But all that aside, what I would do normally is I would select the clip that I want to have the jump cut and I would jump in say 130%. And I'll just adjust the position so that my eyes are about in the same position as the previous frame. And that just helps the edit flow a little bit better. But let's say that I have a really long sequence, maybe an interview or something, and I don't want to keep adding in the jump cuts. I don't want to add in 130%, set the position to negative 208.5. How do we get around that? Well, that is where the save effects preset button comes in. Select the clip that you applied those effects to and select save effects preset. This is going to save you so much time. So we'll rename this to jump cut and we'll save it in our tutorial category. Now we wanna make sure that the position and scale aspects are saved, but if you applied rotation or something along those lines, you could totally save that as well. Push save. I've already done this tutorial, so I'm gonna just replace it. Then all we need to do is jump into our effects and look up jump cut. So now if I had a really long video that had lots and lots of jump cuts to it, all I would need to do is drag over this effect and boom, just like that, the edits are done for me. It saves me so much time. It's just down to one quick click and drag and I have a nice jump cut. But what's really nice is this works with animated features. This works with audio. It's just, so versatile in Final Cut Pro. So let's say that I wanted to have a slow zoom. I could add in a keyframe here at the beginning, go to the end. I could add in another keyframe. Let's say we want to zoom in 145%. That's probably way too far, but you get the idea. So now this clip has this zoom. Then I could save the effects preset and we could just call this the zoom. And you'll see that the keyframes actually show up here on the right hand side. Then let's go ahead and change this to stretch to fit. So now the animation is going to take place over the entire duration of any clip that we apply this to. So I'll just save that. So now I could go to literally any clip. I could look up the zoom effect that we just created. So I'll just drag that onto that screen. And so now over the entire duration of this clip, this is going to do this nice slow zoom up to 145%. So that is the benefit of saving these effects preset is it's going to save you so much time. It's so worth it. I don't know why everybody skips over this button because this is one of my biggest workflow tips and it saves me a lot of extra clicks, which when you are editing hundreds of videos is absolutely essential.